Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to this channel, we ask one question, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young, old, they think the old music is better, but I am not so sure. And today, you saw by the thumbnail, it's going to be a little tricky. It's 21st century, 2024, a brand new song. But it's by Keith Richards, who's been around since the 1960s. So sometimes we do veterans on here. But here's the question. I played this song today for the first time on my phone without headphones. Sorry about the lighting there. And uh, I loved it. Yeah, just ambient on my phone. And I'm, th I'm thinking I'm going to do a Master Monday on this. And you think to yourself, well, how can you say something's a masterpiece when you only heard it one time and you heard it on your phone in ambient? Well, I want to listen to it on, uh, you know, high fidelity here. So this is Keith Richards covering the Velvet Underground. And I'm working on a list of my 100 favorite bands and artists. And I'm big on the Velvet Underground and I'm big on... Uh, the Rolling Stones, and I will tell you that when it comes to all the solo material by all the Rolling Stones, my favorite album, hands down, is Talk is Cheap by Keith Richards from, I believe, 87, produced by Steve Jordan. That, to me, blows away anything Ron Wood or Mick Jagger or Bill Wyman or anybody else did. I uh, love that album. My favorite song is Struggle. So this is a song about uh, meeting your heroin dealer in uh, New York, in a black or African-American section of New York. And of course, of course, Keith Richards, one of the most famous junkies up there with, you know, uh, Scott Wheeland or Iggy Pop or people like that. So it's so poignant, you know, and his reading of this is just great. So let's get into it. I hope it doesn't get blocked. Here we go, and I'll talk about it afterwards. I, I'm waiting for my man.
So cool, because my definition of a good cover is uh, it should sound like a song that you wrote. You should make it your own. Uh, some covers are two carbon copy. This one manages to do both. It's really great. It's, uh, it's, it, it really pays ode to the original style. But then it's got its own flavor, too, so it's it's really cool. And you got those um, tribal drums and that banging, monotonous piano, which comes straight from the Velvet Underground. But then his guitar stylings are different, and he's not trying to show off. And one of the things I noticed that he did that was so important with Lou Reed's guitar playing, I love Lou Reed's guitar playing, is uh, Lou Reed has talked about this in interviews, like on Sweet Jane, when he strums a chord, it's always the upstroke that's so important. You know, Lou would always hit the strings coming back up. And I noticed that Keith was doing that. And then during the solo, he added his own little flavor. But uh, not showing off, just playing tasty guitar. The vocals are, are great. They're on pitch. He's enunciating. He sounds weathered and worn, but clear. The production is good. And it's a song that feels authentic. Um, you know, it just feels like uh, it's it's a, a story that he's lived. And he can deliver it. And he's got um, a little bit of phrasing that reminds me of Lou, kind of a conversational style. And, and it works. And it's such a surprise. I can't, I don't think of the Rolling Stones and Lou Reed in the same, you know, I just don't think of them. So when I saw this this morning... I was like, wow, really? Let me check it out. And I, I love it. And of course, it's a great song. Some people might think it's a little too repetitive or monotonous, but I don't. To me, it's a, a groove song. And that's what Keith Richards adds here. Because he, the original is so pounding with the piano. Dun, 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 dun. And this one here, he makes it more into a groove piece, which is right up his alley. And I love it. I think it's a great cover, and the video is fun and black and white with different... Sometimes he's sitting, sometimes he's at the mic, sometimes he's wearing shades, sometimes they're listening back to the tape. And then you got that just sort of collapsing breakdown at the end where it all kind of goes to crap right there in the last three, four seconds, which is great. I just love that. Um, God, give it to Keith. You know, he's 80 or 81 years old, and like some weathered blues musician, but he doesn't do, the, you know, he loves R&B and blues. So for him to do this Velvet Underground thing is just really, I, I'm just so surprised. I think it's cool. And it, I'm also surprised because he hasn't recorded anything in years. I mean, his last album, he did one album, I think, in the 21st century. And that's it. You know, he's done one album in 24 years. So for him to go back in the studio and do this, really, really cool. So thanks for joining me. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. Um, I don't usually rate on Master Monday because I'm just saying it's a great song. Uh, that's it. So as we say here in uh, Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. <laughs>